when we hear about the success of a person or a company too often, we might start taking their achievements for granted. This is especially true for SpaceX and Musk. If you look at the history of SpaceX, you'll see that it's now a major player in the space industry. But just two decades ago, many experts laughed at the idea of SpaceX competing with industry giants like NASA and Boeing. They wondered how a new company could challenge such established players. Despite the skepticism, SpaceX has proven its critics wrong. In just 20 years, it has moved from being seen as an industry outsider to becoming a leader in space exploration. Although SpaceX was founded in 2002, the company did not experience any major successes for several years. It was in December 2015 that SpaceX achieved a milestone that fundamentally changed the aerospace industry. They successfully landed their Falcon 9 rocket booster back on Earth after a mission to space. This feat of engineering had previously been considered something you might only see in science fiction movies. The idea of launching a rocket into space and then landing it upright back on Earth to reuse it seemed nearly impossible. Before this success, rockets were traditionally used only once, with their expensive boosters falling into the ocean after launch, never to be recovered. Following the successful landing of their Falcon 9 rocket booster, SpaceX not only began competing with industry giants, but also started overtaking their previously held records one by one. A prime example of this is the record for the most orbital launches by a private company in a single year. In 2022, SpaceX achieved a staggering 61 successful orbital missions, breaking their own previous record of 31 launches in 2021. This achievement marked a significant milestone, reflecting SpaceX's rapidly increasing launch capabilities and efficiency. Before SpaceX set these impressive records, the industry standard for annual launches by a single company was much lower. For context, the previous unofficial record for the most launches in a year was held by the Russian state corporation Roscosmos, which at its peak conducted around 36 orbital missions in a single year. After setting a remarkable standard with 61 successful orbital missions in 2022, SpaceX went further by increasing the number of launches to an astounding total of 96 by the end of 2023. In 2024, SpaceX has achieved significant progress in its launch operations, aiming to break even more records. As of now, they've completed 67 launches, and are on track to reach an ambitious target of 135 launches by the year's end. This marks a notable increase from their earlier goal, as they now plan to complete 148 launches in total for 2024, adjusting from an initial target of 144. This adjustment was necessary due to a few launches that were delayed from the previous year into 2024. This record-breaking number of launches was primarily achieved using two of SpaceX's workhorse rockets, the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy. The bulk of these missions, around 91, were conducted using the Falcon 9 rocket, which has become the backbone of SpaceX's launch capabilities due to its reliability and reusability. It's not just the number of launch records that SpaceX has taken over, but also reusability. In 2023, a particular Falcon 9 booster, designated B-1058, reached a milestone by being launched for the 16th time, setting a new record for the most flights by a single orbital rocket booster. This booster has had a storied career, including launching significant payloads and contributing extensively to the Starlink project. Several other Falcon 9 boosters have also reached high numbers of reuse. For example, Booster B-1049 has been launched and landed 10 times, and B-1051 has matched this feat. These milestones underscore SpaceX's ability to not only launch frequently, but also recycle their boosters effectively. However, not all missions conclude successfully. A recent incident involved a veteran Falcon 9 booster that had completed a record-breaking 23 flights. Unfortunately, during its latest landing attempt, the booster made a hard landing on the drone ship, toppled over, and exploded. This incident marked a rare failure in an otherwise successful track record of booster recoveries. Musk has suggested that with minor refurbishments, Falcon 9 boosters could be flown up to 100 times. 
Another major achievement is SpaceX's record for the quickest turnaround time for a reusable orbital rocket. One of their Falcon 9 boosters set this record by launching twice in just 27 days. This milestone is part of SpaceX's broader goal to reduce launch preparation times and costs. Previously, the industry standard for turnaround time between launches of the same rocket was considerably longer, often measured in months. For instance, the Space Shuttle program typically saw turnaround times ranging from several months to over a year due to extensive refurbishment needs between missions. Even early in the Falcon 9 program, the turnaround time for reusable boosters was significantly longer as SpaceX refined their processes for inspecting, refurbishing, and preparing boosters for subsequent flights. Another major achievement in this area is the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which set the record for the longest flight duration of any commercially built spacecraft. The spacecraft remained docked at the International Space Station for nearly six months. This mission, known as Crew-2, involved four astronauts and lasted 199 days in orbit, surpassing the previous record of 168 days set by the earlier Crew-1 mission. Adding to this legacy, SpaceX recently achieved the first commercial spacewalk during the Polaris Dawn mission. In this historic event, Polaris Dawn crew members, led by financier Jared Isaacman, conducted the first-ever commercial extravehicular activity from a spacecraft. This spacewalk was part of a broader mission that involved flying to a high altitude of 1,400 kilometers, the highest for any crewed mission since Apollo 17 in 1972, and testing new technologies including SpaceX-designed EVA suits and a laser communication system linked to the Starlink satellites. These activities were critical in paving the way for future commercial space missions and longer-term space explorations, such as missions to Mars. The only record SpaceX has not been able to break is that of the heaviest payload to low Earth orbit, which is still held by the Saturn V rocket. Saturn V, developed during the Apollo program of the 1960s and 1970s, could carry about 140 metric tons to low Earth orbit. In comparison, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, currently the most powerful operational rocket, can carry around 63,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Although Falcon Heavy falls short of Saturn V's capacity, it represents significant advancements in terms of cost-effectiveness and reusability. SpaceX's upcoming Starship is designed to surpass these figures, targeting a payload capacity to low Earth orbit of over 100 metric tons, aiming not only to match but exceed the capabilities of Saturn V. If successful, Starship will represent a major leap forward in payload capacity, while also incorporating the reusability that SpaceX has championed. This development is part of SpaceX's broader vision to facilitate more ambitious missions, including potential crewed missions to Mars and beyond, thus pushing the boundaries of current space travel standards. If you've watched this far, it means you are one of our loyal viewers, and I've got something special just for you. We have highly realistic Starship models available on eBay exclusively for our dedicated fans. Head to the link in the description and grab your own model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.